Last time in our story, Vegeta's brother Rigor visits Earth with his wife Sapari to exact their revenge on the Prince of All Saiyans. Even Super Saiyan 4 proved not to be enough to stop Rigor. As the Z Warriors struggled on the brink of defeat, they managed to buy Vegeta enough time to fire his special attack at Rigor. But will this be enough to take down the monster? Find out in this exciting continuation coming up next. such strength. Piccolo is amazed by what he just saw. He's so beaten up, he says, hard to sense anything right now, but I don't feel any key. Damn it, says Sapari. Work, you stupid thing. Talking about her scouter. Please, she says, don't be dead. Standing at the brink of the crater, Piccolo says, I can barely see the bottom. And then he hears a voice. Piccolo! Behind him, Trunks and Goten are coming to their feet. Ow, my head, says Goten. You two did well, said Piccolo with a smile. Hey, where's Vegeta, Goten asked. It may be a false hope, but it would appear he succeeded. Piccolo responds. Go bring him up. I doubt he can move himself, Piccolo said to the two boys, as they both jump into the crater to retrieve Vegeta. But then, Piccolo begins to sense something behind him. Before we find out what that is, the story flashes over to the Ryushin realm, where for the first time, we learn what's going on with Goku, Gohan, and U. The three of them are training in the realm of the Kais, completely unaware of what's happening on Earth. Just as a quick side note, this isn't a small deal, especially for Gohan. Remember that training under the supervision of the Kais with the Z-Sword in the Ryushin realm and getting his powers partially unlocked was how we saw that massive leap in power for Gohan, how he unlocked Mystic Form in Dragon Ball Z. And this was a pretty quick process, I think 24 hours or something. So depending on how long Gohan, Goku, and Oob have been training here, it could mean major things for their current power level. Dad, did you feel that? Said Gohan to Goku. Goku responds, yeah, a massive power coming from Earth. Oob says, maybe Vegeta's getting a little too into his training. Goku responds, I don't think so. Something doesn't feel right. I feel. Right then, the old Kai jumps in, angry, yelling at Goku, saying, it's about time you stop your training. I can't even try to get close to you when you're all fired up. Goku says to him, old timer, do you know anything about what's going on? The Supreme Kai gives him a stern look. We flash back over to Earth, where Goten and Trunks fly Vegeta up from the crater he created. Piccolo says to Vegeta, are you all right, Vegeta? Vegeta responds, I, I think so. Sapari furious yells, you, you bastard. You killed him. Responding to her, Piccolo says he didn't have a... And then Sapari cuts him off. No, this is none of your business. I can't believe how stupid I was. I was starting to think that you had changed, but I was wrong. You're the same monster you've always been. I should kill you myself for what you've done. Then her scouter begins to go off. What? She says, this reading, at the same time, Piccolo, Vegeta, Trunks, Goten started sensing this massive key. No, Piccolo says, it can't be. There, they all look to the sky as a shadowy figure crash lands in front of them. No way, says Vegeta, as the dust begins to clear. Rigor returns. Rigor, yelled Sapari. And then we get a full body shot of Rigor. He's a little beaten up, but it seems like he's doing much better than Vegeta is. This is a beautiful shot, by the way. Sapari rushes to Rigor. My love, she says, I thought I had lost you. Rigor responds, I'm sorry I worried you. Then he gives the Z Warriors a cold look. Settling his eyes on Vegeta, he says, even I thought you got me with that one. Only my master has ever hit me hard enough to force me into my assault form. Now I really wanna know who his master was. Anyway, he continues, in that regard, Vegeta, you have my respect. At the same time, in the Ryushin realm, Goku is suiting up. He puts on his normal gi and says, Let's go. Back on Earth, Rigor approaches the Z-Warriors. They're all pretty beaten up and will likely not survive a full attack from Rigor, especially Vegeta and Piccolo. So as Rigor approaches, Trunks attempts to cut him off. And this is a beautiful shot. Rigor isn't actually this much bigger than Trunks, 
but the shot symbolizes the difference in power. I remember the anime kingdom used to do this a lot where they drew more powerful people slightly bigger and it just really sets the tone of the scene. I think this idea is super dope. Anyway, Vegeta yells Trunks, knowing that an attack from Rigor at this point will kill Trunks. Staring down at him, Rigor says to Trunks, move boy. Trunks responds, not on your life. And Vegeta yells, don't, he's too much for you, coldly. Rigor looks Trunks directly in the eyes and says, move or be moved. Crazy. Trunks begins to power up, yelling, no. Unimpressed, Rigor stares him directly in the face. He then says, your staunch defiance in defense of him is admirable. You remind me of my son, but this is your choice. I gotta find out more about Rigor. I gotta, fi I gotta meet his family, his son, his mentor. I mean, this is all pretty crazy stuff. Anyway, he continues with a kill shot, a punch aimed directly at Trunks' face. The punch connects, but everyone is shocked. In the next panel, we see why. Someone grabs the punch, and then we get this beautiful shot from Rigor's perspective. It's Goku, Gohan, and Oob. They've arrived. Goku says to Rigor in his normal nonchalance, yo, super dope, super dope. There are only a few things in this world as satisfying as a Goku entrance. It reminds me of when he showed up on Planet Namek to take out the Ginyu Force, but let's just say Rigor isn't the Ginyu Force. Anyway, back to the story. Dad, yelled Goten. Hey, sorry we're late. More interlopers, said Rigor. Just how many of you are there? Looking at him with a smile, Goku says, so you're the guy making all this fuss. Oh yeah, I can tell you're strong. Rigor responds, this whole damn world is willing to give up itself for you, Vegeta. Goku continues, I'm sorry guys, we only had one century B. Vegeta says, just give it to me, you dolt. Piccolo chimes in, indeed. There's not much sense in restoring the rest of us. You two are the only ones who stand a chance. Sensu Bean's always coming in clutch. Sapari and Rigor notice that Vegeta's energy went back to normal. While Gohan asks Goku, what do you want us to do, Dad? Goku responds, y'all should go. If he's this tough, then Vegeta and I, we gotta go all out. Vegeta tells Goku, frankly, even together, I don't much like our odds. He took everything I had and stood up to it. Gohan says, but, and then Piccolo cuts him off. No, they're right, he says. At this point, we're little more than collateral damage. If we stay, it's best we remove ourselves from the equation. Gohan doesn't like this much, but says, fine, we'll let you go. But if you get in trouble, we'll come running. Got it? Then Goku gives him the thumbs up. They should be far enough away by now, Goku says to Vegeta. Rigor says, why? Why do you all continue to throw yourself into the fire for him? After all the suffering he's caused, Goku responds, that stuff happened ages ago. Vegeta's changed a lot, you know. I mean, he's still a jerk sometimes, but whatever. I want to talk about this for a quick second because I'm curious as to whether any of you guys have ever been in a situation like this before. I'm sure some of you have heard the phrase that forgiveness isn't for the person that you're forgiven, it's more for yourself. And if you refuse to forgive someone, they get to live in your mind rent free. And in theory, that's, that's I think, easy to understand. But in practice, I feel like some things are just past that point. Like Vegeta killed Rigor's mom. How do you forgive that? Even if Vegeta has changed, how do you deal with that? So I'm just curious as to whether any of you guys have been in a situation where you had to forgive someone and were you able to do it? If so, please share it in the comments below. I would love to read it. Hashtag forgiveness and then share your comment. I'll respond to all of them that I can. Anyway, back to the story. Rigor says to Goku, so you won't step aside then? And then Goku says, no way. Now's my chance to fight another full-blooded Saiyan. I wanna see what kind of techniques you got. This'll be fun, fun, Rigor says. This is a game to you. Furious Rigor responds, it doesn't matter. If you wish to stand with him, then you can fall with him as well. Sapari so takes cover. But she notices something about Goku. She says, that one. At the same time, Goku says to Vegeta, how do you want to go about this? Vegeta says, if we want to live, then we'll best go all out at the start. Goku says, hmm, not really my style, but okay. And the two instantly transform to Super Saiyan 4, respectively. Beautiful shot. I can only imagine this being animated. It'll just be so dope. To himself, Rigor says, they both have forms like my assault form. And Vegeta's last attack weakened me against two 
my battle form might not be enough. And he also begins to power up. Full body shot. For the first time, we get to see that what Rigor is calling his assault form is his own unique Super Saiyan 4 transformation. Goku and Vegeta are both surprised by this. Some distance away, Gohan and Piccolo can sense Rigor's transformation. All three Saiyans charge each other and the battle begins. If you made it this far in the video, hashtag Rigor's back in the comments below. There's two quick things. First off, big shout out to Malik for all the hard work he's done on this story. It's amazing. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. You could drop by and say hello. You could tell him I sent you. Second thing is, I know I haven't been uploading as often as I would like on this channel. And I'm really just blown away by all the messages I get of people asking if I'm okay. I really appreciate it. And I'm 100% fine. What's been going on is that there's just been a lot happening in my life recently. In the last year, I moved across states, got married. My wife and I are expecting a baby really soon. There's been some negative stuff too, like having to deal with Toei, falsely flagging this channel with almost 40 copyright strikes. All that and the fact that I hate to upload crap that no one wants to watch to my channel just to say I uploaded something are the reasons why you haven't been seeing new videos. I think where I've been messing up is that I haven't been allowing myself the time to sit down and process all these major changes in my life and that's affected my ability to sort of be creative and pump out these videos the way I would want to. I think I'm also messing up by not having a proper team. Based on the messages I get, I know these videos mean a lot to a lot of people, even if it's just entertainment. They mean a lot to me too. And so I will be doing all I can to get them out more consistently going forward. Priority number one is I want to start building a team of people who I feel comfortable working with. So if you enjoy these videos and you have any video editing skills or skills with drawing manga or coloring manga, please shoot me an email at the address in the description with an example of your work. Looking forward to hearing from you guys. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I can't tell you how much it means to me and how life changing it is. I love you guys. Do me one favor. Please have yourself a great rest of your day. Bye.